I in Mutha Ward, Kitui South, after armed bandits allegedly beheaded a middle-aged man and left three others nursing serious injuries, dozens of families too fled their homes fearing for their lives. Laya Zumbogo begins our bulletin. A somber mood has engulfed the Mutha area of Kitui South following the deadly banditry attack which has left the residents in great fear for their lives since they can't comprehend when the next similar occurrence may hit them. According to Joram Kingondu, a resident of Musenge village, the bandits and provoked attacked his neighbor while resting at his home and beheaded him on Sunday evening. <laughs> Jonathan Ngau, who is admitted at Mutomo Mission Hospital, was also attacked by the assailants while on a motorbike with his friend and severely injured. Katuku Kieti, another resident from Ndulaini village, is also admitted at the same hospital. The bandits were laid her on her way home and nearly chopped off her left arm. Speaking, Dr. John Amolo said the victims, including another male nursing bullet guns to the leg, were responding well to treatment and were in stable condition. And two days ago, we received the the other two gentlemen that you met, one was pierced on the back with a sharp object. She, he said it was a spear, so we, we don't know. And when we did the investigations, the x-rays, what uh, we saw the chest was okay. So um, there was no sign that this uh, injury penetrated into the chest cavity. So for now, we were just suture on observation, painkillers and antibiotics. Mtomo DCC Ronald Nyakasi on his part, said security officers are currently sightseeing the area and that several suspects have been arrested in connection to Sunday's murder. There's been a murder, but at the moment, um, the, 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 the security personnel are all over this place, combing the place. A number of arrests have been made. The residents, however, are appealing to the Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi to come to their rescue since the security officers in the area are not effective. Banditry attacks have been experienced in Kitui County for more than three decades now, and many have always lost their loved ones. But sadly, there has been no long-lasting solution to the situation. Elias Ombogo, KUTV.